Welcome to Behind the Badge with your special guest, Lieutenant Williams. Your new source for all things police in the city of Fond du Lac. As we come back into Fond du Lac today on News Talk 1450 and 100.7 KFIZ, it's now time for Behind the Badge, Lieutenant Williams and Officer Clapper both joining us in studio. Good morning, guys. How's it going today? Good morning. It's uh, going in very exciting now. We just... Uh, um, I know this is a couple days after it, but we're going to, uh, we dropped the video uh, for recruiting hiring and we've gotten really good uh, uh, feedback from it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this was exciting, uh, although I'm not visually in the video a lot. I had a lot of behind the scenes part. And it was I heard your voice. Yes, my voice was in there. Um, it was exciting to be a part of and a lot of brainstorming went into this, a lot of time went into it. So. Overall, the, the product is very good, so Lieutenant Williams did a phenomenal job with it, and overall our team uh, did an over, overall good job. Have you thought about a career in acting? Uh, definitely not, um, although I can be animated. I don't want to call that acting, um, but uh, I do not shy from the camera, as most people know that, so there is that, and I'm not afraid to make fun of myself. So that does help in, I think, uh, in being uh, in front of the camera, However, I have the face for radio, so. <laughs> As do I, and that's why I am here on KFIZ Monday through Friday, some weekend work as well. All right, let's jump right in. We kind of danced around the video, right? Let, let's jump right in. Um, it's a new hiring campaign that you guys are trying. Obviously, you guys have been trying to hire for a while, but with these new spots, you need bodies. Yeah, and uh, we, were, we were really looking for a creative way to get our message out, and uh, um, I think it, it was... I can't really originate the idea, but I know that um, Officer Clapper, um, cause we, we, our, quick, our, our police department is located right next to Quick Trip, and we've done many a trips there because, you know, we get, we get hungry over the course of the day. And I know that, I think Officer Clapper brought it up one time that, you know, hey, we should make our recruit video about how close we are to Quick Trip. And, you know, kind of laughed it off at the time. And, and then, you know, that, that idea kind of like sets in your mind a little bit and uh, like, well, Maybe we should do that because everyone's seen the same recruit video. They've seen, you know, maybe some dramatic music and, and, and all of this stuff going on. And, and that's great. There's a time and a place for that. Maybe we'll make one of those at some point. But that's not really in a Lieutenant Williams video. That's not what I'm about. Um, and, and I think what we're trying to do um, at the Fond du Lac Police Department um, I think the fact that we're showing that we can be fun and invest in our employees and, 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 and you know, do all the serious stuff, but also um, have fun with it and enjoy work as well. Um, I think that was the message that we wanted to send. And, you know, I got it approved from all the people that the chief was on board, which is great. I'm having his support and uh, Quick Trip Corporate, they were on board. So um, we got that approved and we, and we do have a good relationship with them. Uh, so, so that made it really uh, easy. You know, they got to be in the video and some cameo um, there. And it's for those of you that don't know what we're talking about, you can go to the Fond du Lac Police dot uh, com. Um, the, uh, the Facebook page, I'm sorry, the Facebook page. It's posted there. Um, the the recruiting video, which took uh, many days of my life to do and edit. So it was a long project, and we did not have the right equipment to do it, but we made it. Made it by. And like you're mentioning there, you there's there's one part in the video where you're changing outfits quickly, um, and you're in a different outfit for a different um, kind of duties a police officer might have. Yeah, that was a fun scene. Um, so in my years at uh, as a school resource officer at Sabish, I made a lot of videos like this, and I think some of the officers are now kind of seeing what I used to do as a school resource officer, because they didn't see it. I was out at the school and did it. Mm -hmm. And that was actually a ripoff from my own um, other idea. I did that once. Um, we used to have a feature called the teacher feature, where we talked about different teachers or myself, and that was a, a kind of a gimmick I used in one of those videos. And I thought it was a perfect way to just kind of um, do a callback to it and uh, got our point across about the different things. Um, and I will say the tactical field force, I'm not a member of that team, but I did fit into Officer Bifford's clothes, which was very impressive since he is um, of, the, of slight build. No, I mean, he's well, he's well built, but a lot skinnier than I am, so. Gotcha, there's another part of it where you have a Quick Trip donut, and it looks like you're going to measure them out from 
the door you guys exit to the quick trip and um, that would have taken a lot of donuts so we're, did you have enough money to be able to purchase that many donuts if you needed to so that definitely required a creative solution um, we did I did want to do something with donuts. I know it's cliche in every police video, there's donut something or other, but this one had to because it was too close to the reference to not use a donut reference. And um, I was trying to think of a creative way to not spend that much money <laughs> on the donuts. And uh, it's kind of what we came in. That was, um, for, for those of you, when you watch the video, that's that's Officer Clapper's big cameo is, uh, he basically uh, is the, the, the voice from off camera, uh, the voice of reason, if you will. Um, it's telling me that maybe you should just uh, do a little bit of math here to figure this out instead of laying all the donuts out. Definitely. Um, let's kind of talk about Quick Trip, right? Because, you know, we haven't talked about it enough during the commercial or on air right now. What's your go-to when you go to Quick Trip? So whenever the Cheatsville breadsticks are on sale, you have to go with them. And they'll get as low as a buck fifty sometimes. And, and that, was, that sale will usually go for a week. So if you see that, come back the next day and uh, <laughs> it, it, it'll probably be pretty good. I am a kind of a sale guy. Um, today I stopped over there. There was the uh, the pizza rolls. Uh, they were buck fifty. I mean, that's a good price point, you know. Um, but what about you, Officer Clapper? Uh, I try to stay away from their hot food, um, but I can't ever walk away from when they have the Western omelet uh, bagel for breakfast sandwich. Every time I see that, I, I have to get it because not all Quick Trips have it. And when they do have it, it's kind of like a sporadic thing. So every time I see that, that's always my go-to. Um, that's good. And then also, uh, this kind of takes me back to my night shift days. Uh, we used to have a thing called Chicken Sandwich Fridays. So a uh, close group of coworkers and I, every time, obviously we work rotating schedules. So every uh, last shift of our week, we would always meet at 4 a.m. at Quick Trip on South Main Street and get a chicken sandwich for each other's Fridays. So it was just kind of a little a bit of a trend tradition we haven't had in a while. They have chicken sandwiches out at 4 a.m.? Yeah, it's the only place that we can go when we work night shift. Uh, maybe we're doing nice stuff to order too. Like if you if you know there's going to be a chicken sandwich run, uh, you can just let them know. Gotcha. Yeah, we used to do that quite often where they'd be out and be like, hey, can you make us some chicken sandwiches? And they would do it for us. So that was a cool tradition. And that's one of the few things I do miss about night shift. How about you? Um, breakfast pizza. Oh yeah, it's always a solid one. Um, and is it the the pancake uh, breakfast sandwich that they have? Yes, yep. it's almost like a McGriddle. Mm -hmm. yep. um, those are my go-tos whenever I'm grabbing something. I don't think you can go wrong with your <clears throat> breakfast. Like any of their selections are are phenomenal. Um, one thing to not overlook are they're they're almost like microwavable dinners now, where they have like a whole freezer. At some of them where it's like like chicken alfredo and, and you, you can kind of like pretend you're eating healthy um, but and, and they are definitely healthier than some of their other options but those are uh, very good options as well they even have really good wings too if you've ever had them uh, i just tried them last week and they're excellent i know the boss man swears by their chicken tenders he's like best chicken tenders in the state Ooh, i don't know if i've had that i've had their chicken but i don't know if i've had their chicken tenders so that might be something to try um, as we circle back to the video, um, all the vehicles able to get involved. That's all stuff that's just right there. You guys didn't have to move anything too far, right? No, not too far, but it was really a big hassle. I'll be honest. <laughs> like, um, and and of, of course, people were trying to get through that lot. That's actually a very busy lot back there for Quick Trip and for us. Um, so it, it took it took a lot. Luckily, I had Officer Clapper and then Officer Biffert help move a lot of that. Officer Biffert um, can be seen guest starred as the McGruff uh, in the McGruff uh, outfit. I mean, uh, hopefully I didn't spoil anybody that's not really McGruff. We, we couldn't get him for this one, but what? Uh, we have an actor playing him. Uh, and uh, so yeah, it, it was quite a setup, um, but it, it's just kind of funny just to see all the different assortment stuff. And it was also a, a fun way to show some of the tools that we have that some other departments might not. Gotcha, definitely. And another part that stood out to me whenever I watched it was when you're at the shooting range and you're like, hey, let's just like put something in post-production about the slow walk up and like how you say you want to do that and then you end up doing it. I always love like that stuff, like the cool like cinematography. I think of like the CSI, you know, like dramatic whatever and always wanted to do that. Um, so that was more just for me. <laughs> So if you haven't seen the video yet, it is up on their Facebook page. They are hiring at the Fond du Lac Police Department, if you haven't been able to tell from the video or from our conversations. 
Um, guys, really appreciate you stopping by the studio. You mentioned a lot of time, a lot of effort. When did this project first start until it was uploaded? I would say probably about the idea came about a month ago around then. And uh, the actual filming uh, was probably, it, it was three days, um, not full days for some of them. It was very weather dependent. Mm -hmm. So we were having a lot of problems, especially in fall, like finding the right weather. And then noise dependent as well. Yep. Like we took so many takes that you couldn't hear anything because of traffic. You know, you think about Johnson Main Street, how busy that is. And w lacking like professional like equipment or whatever. Uh, it, there was a lot of takes. And honestly, I think now I'm gonna make an outtakes reel. I don't know if we'll show that one to everybody, but there are a lot of really good outtakes on that. Well, make sure you share that one with myself and maybe we can dedicate an entire episode about outtakes. Uh, we could, we definitely <laughs> could. There's, there's definitely uh, enough of them out there. Um, we always try to do, you know, after a couple scenes, we always do one fun one, like one like, okay, let's go over the top and let's just let's just really go with this one. And actually, the one where um, everyone's all the people were standing up, including Quick Trip employees and stuff, that was the over the top scene, and we I decided to keep it. <laughs> so that was the only over the top scene that made it. But uh, I, mean, I think it adds a little bit. So my favorite part of the reference to see how close the PD is to Quick Trip is uh, Officer Fuller, Fuller, sorry, Officer Fuller and Officer Bang steps. Uh, You'll see in the video that Officer Bang is quite short and Officer Fuller <laughs> is our tallest officer. So it's quite funny to see the distance, uh, how long it takes and steps from the PD to Quick Trip for each of them. It was great. Like they were great sports about it. Like I, I told them, I said, hey, this is what I want to do. And they were all for it. They're like, yeah, let's do it. Like, so um, it's great to have employees like that, um, which makes it easy to do a recruiting video. Like I, I asked and people came, came forward and helped me out. So they weren't a lot of reluctant people so yeah it was really fun to do this I mean even just being on the film crew it was a lot of more laughing at uh, Lieutenant Williams outtakes and uh, mistakes <laughs> but it was also really fun to, to be a part of something like this so it was a fun video make sure you check it out if you haven't done so already and if you have already checked it out once you can always watch it again Lieutenant Williams Officer Clamper thanks for the time great work on the video and we'll chat in the future thank you thank you for your time this is Fun Luck Today on KFI